Hey everybody, welcome back to K&K &K Crochet. We're glad you're here today. And we have, she's pulling her eyes at me already. I haven't even said anything. Goodness gracious, what's wrong with you today? Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about a problem that I had um, not too long ago. Uh, I'm sure you guys have had it too when I've been working on a project and all of a sudden my hook disappears. Uh, either I grabbed it out for another project or um, it has been lost in the abyss of a project bag or, you know, whatever, in the midst of something. And then you don't know what kind of hook you were using and you go to use it and you're starting to use a different size hook. So, then it looks all janky. Then it looks ridiculous. So I know there are ways that some people say that you can go back afterwards and try and figure it out. I'm here to tell you that I've never found a way that um, was easy. So the easiest thing is prevention, right? So there are a couple of things you can do for prevention. And I saw a new one. What are you rolling them eyes for again? Stop that. <laughs> she got the faces today. Um, I saw some new thing or a new way to do it today that I thought would be easier for me because let's face it um, some of the ways that you do that is to keep your hook in your project bag I've tried that it doesn't work because I will go to the project bag and be digging for a color of yarn that's in there for another project or be digging for the hook um, and say oh I know there's a hook in there that's that size and then I'll take it out and then I'll go back to the project and it's missing anybody else do that or just me do you do that yeah yeah my new blanket I did that and I lost the hook and then I used another hook and um, I had to go back and rip it out. But I think I forgot to tell you that, but I had to. Mm, I think I did the same thing <laughs> on the same project. So it is what it is, right? You, you get all confused and you don't know. So I know that putting it in a project bag is not going to work for me. The little stitch marker keepers, I know that that would probably work if I remember to put it on there. If I can keep up with my stitch markers. If I know where my stitch markers are. But what if you're using... What if you only have one eye stitch marker and you have three projects? True. That's true. And the other day, speaking of not knowing where things are, I went to do an amigurumi and I could I found my safety eyes and knew exactly where they were, but you know, they ship from Amazon in a little box. So I went to try like this one. And then guess what happens? The backs get the, the backs place. don't come in this. Now sometimes they do. Some of mine did but the backs usually come in the little plastic packages. So I put them away in a place I would remember where they were. I guess what you don't remember. I didn't remember where they were. And I I'm was extremely... Gonna, I'm going to remember where this is. Yeah. I was extremely frustrated because I was in the middle of the project and I wanted to be done. Hindsight 2020, I should gather all my stuff before I do a project, right? But here again, if I gather those little teeny tiny eyes and I work on a project and it's two, three, four days to a week to a month, those teeny tiny eyes are going to roll right out of just like socks in the dryer, right? They're going to be, and Rubbermaid lids. They're going to be gone. Gone. So I always save those to last to get out. And um, so I I did finally find them. I had put them in one of those fabulous Dollar Tree containers I told you about that's clear with the purple lid and put them in my craft closet, which I had cleaned out recently, and that's when I decided it would be a good idea to put those in there by themselves, clear, in a clear package, in a clear container. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So, anyway, nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to lose the stitch marker or not know where it is when I need it, or not be able to find the one that matches, or have five projects with the same hook, because I'm really bad about using the same hook. H, I, 5.5, J, and a G. The G, H, I, yep. Those, all those are, and J. Those are my favorites, and those are the ones I use the most. So, I was looking through uh, the internet and stumbled upon a way to do it, and I thought it was ingenious because, um, or thought it was a genius idea because when you think about it you don't have to have anything new or extra with you to do this so what you do is you leave a longer tail like longer than you normally would on your project which I leave a long tail anyway so I'd have to leave an extra long tail because I like to have it in case I need to fix mistakes and you leave an extra long tail and near the end of the tail whatever size hook you're using like if you're using a four you would tie four knots in the end of your tail That's cool. And, let's say you're using a 4.5, you would tie four knots, then you would leave a space, and you would tie an extra knot at the end, so it would be four and a half, so that way you would know that that's a half. Um, 
I can't remember if it gave you a way to denote 3.25 and all that kind of stuff. Most of the time, I'm not using that anyway. And if I'm using a hook that small, then I know what hook I'm using. I usually try to go by the color of the hook, but the problem with that is my boy hooks are all pink. So if I pick a boy hook to use, I'm not going to know which one it is. They're all the same, same color. So, and then I too have hooks from different sets that are the same color. So, usually I can jog my memory and think, oh, that was a green hook, that's a J. Because that's a, a bigger, the bigger boy hooks sometimes come in uh, different colors. So I would say, oh, it's a J, I know it's a J. So anyway, I just thought that was a neat little tip if you have problems like that. Um, if you have tips for how you keep up with yours, other than you're just more organized than I am, and you can keep up with a hook in a project bag, let me know down below. Um, I see lots of people opening project bags and they have hooks in them and they said they, that it's been a sleeping whip for a long time. Um, I right now have hooks that I need to gather that have, uh, they're, they're like lost somewhere and I need to gather them up so I have them all and I need to put them all in one place and get them organized so I know where they are because uh, I can tell there are a few missing. You know, it's kind of like your children, you know, when there's one not around, right? Zone out for two seconds, and that's all I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you zoning out? I don't know. Wake up! Um, but you know what I'm saying. If you have your favorite hooks and stuff, you know when they're missing when you look through your stuff. So I know some of mine are missing. They're in bags somewhere, and they need to be reclaimed. And uh, probably when I go to ribbit, ribbit some of the stuff that I'm not going to do, um, like a blanket, um, I will find my hooks. So we shall see. But let us know down below in the comments, how do you keep up with what you're using? How do you uh, make sure that it's the same hook? It used to be for me, I knew it was the same hook all the time because I only used one hook. I only used an H hook all the time. Well, I have ventured out. You can say, yay. I now use an H, an I, a J, a G, like I said. And I've even gone so far as to go down to an F. And my latest project was an E. So I've tried to see how small I can get it. But that's probably as low as it's going to go while wow, you're rolling them eyes again. What are you rolling the mask for? I don't know. I don't know either. She's she's with it today. I'm telling you, I don't know. But anyway, um, that's where I stand with that. So let us know, like I said, if you have a genius tip on the way that you are keeping up with what hook size you are using for your project. Um, some people I know write it down in a notebook. I would lose the notebook. <laughs> it's, it is legitimately, it is not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is just the nature of my life. I would lose it. Whatever I need the most is what I'm going to lose that day. Or you say, I will always remember the spot. Like, I'm not going to forget. Where did I put that again? Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. And I do have my stuff organized, but when it comes to projects, I think what it is is that I'll be working on project. Buttons. See, those are, I know where all my buttons are, and they're right here. All of them are right here, and I know where they are. Last hundred of them. There's more than a hundred. Hundreds. There's bunches in there. Lots of Christmas ones too. But I know where those are. But I think what it is with crochet is a lot of times I'm crocheting at night before I go to sleep, and so I'll crochet right up till like my eyelids are gonna shut, and then I'll just throw it down in a bag or throw it no, in. Because I've done that and then use the wrong color and it turned out blue instead of black. Yep. Yeah. Or I will either it down the project bag and walk off or I will put it in a in a container I have next to me and walk off and think well I'll separate it later or I will put the hook in my uh, yarn bowl and think well I'll put it there so I'll know where it's at at the current moment I think there are three there and I don't know which projects they were with mm -hmm. because I was going to sleep I shut the project put the project in the bag zipped it up and put the hook to the side and thought it'll be there in the morning and I'll know well now there are three how do I know which one it is I think that's the problem. Probably the, the moral of the story is not to crochet at night before you go to sleep. Nope. You're going to end up with the wrong color yarn and not know which hooks go where. But guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. It doesn't right. matter. <laughs> anyway, that's just a tip and a thought for the day. Let us know what you think down below. What do you do that helps you keep up with your crochet hook size so that you know that you're using the right one for the right project? I know I'm not the only one who does that. I've heard lots of people talk about it. I know the stitch markers are supposed to be the be-all, end-all to fix that. Um, and if or that if works, you got 10 projects with an eye hook. I know. You're well, not if you get, have if you've got ten projects with an eye hook, you're probably not going to be putting the eye hook in the bag because unless you have ten eye hooks, and maybe you do. I have several. I don't have that many. I probably have five, something like that. But Some of different right sizes there. of eye hook. One is a five point five, and one is like a five. I have that too. I have several. Yeah, yeah. Based on 
based on sizing from different countries, I guess, or different, I don't know. Yeah, so anyway. We hope you have a great week. Don't forget to be kind because... You know what else is journey. Because why? Because you don't know anybody else's journey. What am I going to do with her? Look at that. I don't know what to do with her. What am I supposed to do with her? We love you all. Thank you so much for all you do. Please like, subscribe, be kind. Don't forget to support and encourage everyone um, in your life and in your YouTube life too. And uh, we hope you come back again. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.